I thought that the show, being so conceptual, really called for that. And I gave a lot of thought to different ways to approach it. I usually do drawings, paintings, and I have ventured into some wire sculpture. But when John mentioned reinventing the wheel, the first thing that came to mind, for some reason, was Cheerios. I thought of the little wheels of Cheerios. And I was envisioning doing a very large installation on the floor with Cheerios. Um, I was discouraged when we thought about the practicality of it and the little mice that might be invited. So I moved on from that. And one day, round and round, <laughs> while wrapping, I, there was something about the motion of wrapping. So I really was thinking about the wheel. When I saw it, I thought, I have a wheel, I have a new wheel. In fact, it's reinvented itself. <laughs> I say with this piece, um, I, my intention was for, you, for people to come up to the piece and not know what it was exactly. And then you come up and you see that actually the shadow is more important than the beads. Um, so the word dot. And so when it gets tangled, it doesn't well, what spell out is, dot. It's an right interactive piece, and people don't realize that that one's to be played with. This one was to be left alone, and well, we should have had this well, a sign that said, please do not touch this one. Time with yeah. ben, and, the, and it just takes a little bit of a breeze before they, they start to. It's good now. Yeah, it's very good. It's actually spelling dot. You have to blow on it.